Today we're covering oppressors and spoilers, Judah and Israel enemies. In letters and instruction from Mighty God Ahia, we're going to start off with, I will not permit the proud to oppress you, says Ahia Mighty God. I will not permit the proud to oppress you, says Mighty God Ahia. My beloved child, I, Ahia, your mighty God, will not leave you to your oppressors, and I will not let the proud oppress you. I will bless you because you put your trust in me and do not respect the proud, nor those who turn aside to lies. Meditate on my precepts. Do not fear the oppressors, for I, Ahia, your mighty God, will put them to shame and revive you according to my loving kindness. I will destroy the house of the proud, but I will hear every prayer of the righteous. I will resist the proud, but I will give my grace favor to you if you remain humble, submission to my spirit. Behold, I, Ahia, your mighty God, have released you from the oppression of the wicked. I will multiply your life, and you will not be diminished. I will glorify you with my righteousness, and your children will be established. But I will punish all who seek to oppress you. Cast out the spirits of oppressions, says a high and mighty God. My beloved child, my son Yeshia, your Messiah who created you, went about doing good and healing all those oppressed of the devil. Through his name, Yeshia, I, Ahia, your mighty God, have given you the power to rebuke, bind, rebuke, and cast out any spirit that would oppress you. Through that power, you shall strip all power from any oppressing spirits. I will be your refuge from the oppressor and will deliver you from the wicked who surround you. I have established you in righteousness and I will keep you far from oppression. I, Ahia, your mighty God, will not allow the enemy to take your inheritance from you through oppression. My beloved child, you are my temple, my dwelling place, and I will encamp at my temple to guard it against marauding forces. Never again will an oppressor overturn my people, for I am Ahia with you, and now I am keeping watch. Execute judgment against my oppressor, says a high mighty God. My beloved child, hear my words, for I am Ahia, your El Elohi, your mighty God. I will execute judgment in the morning and deliver those who have been plundered out of the land, out of the hand of the oppressor. I will punish them according to the fruit of their doings and will judge them according to my righteousness. I will hold you up in mercy and in the multitude of the anxieties within you. My comforts will delight your soul. I will seek that which was lost and bring back again that which was driven away. I will bind up that which was broken and strengthen that which was sick. I will make a covenant of peace with you and cause showers of blessings to come down in your season. You will know that I am Ahia Jorge who has broken the bands of your yoke and delivered you from the hand of those who oppressed you. Spoilers. You will spoil those who attempt to spoil you. My beloved child, when the Egyptians enslaved my people, they oppressed my people and made their lives bitter with hard labor. They even demanded the death of my people's firstborn sons, ruthlessly stealing from them and spoiling their lives with sorrow and want. But behold, I, a higher mighty God, have created the spoiler to wreak havoc on those who attack my people. Just as I enabled my people to take the silver and gold of the Egyptians with them when I freed them from their captivity in Egypt, so have I given you the power to spoil those who attempt to spoil you. No weapons formed against you will prosper, for this is the heritage of my servants. Through my son, Yeshia, your Messiah, you have been given the authority to triumph over the powers and authorities that would threaten to oppress and enslave you. Now we're getting into the biblical verses of oppressors, starting with Jeremiah fifty thirty three. Thus says a high and mighty God of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held 
held them fast. They refused to let them go. The people of the land used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yeah, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And they covet took fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. But I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right. And fear not me, says a high and mighty God of hosts. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, Judah and Israel, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of a high mighty God for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Moreover, the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance by oppression to thrust them out of their possession, but he shall give his son's inheritance out of his own possession that my people be not scattered every man from his possession. Thine eyes and thine heart are not but for thy covetousness, and for to shed innocent blood, and for oppression, and for violence to do it to the enemies. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. He shall judge the poor of the people, he shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. The spoilers shall come upon all high places through the wilderness. For the sword of mighty God of high shall devour them from the one end of the land even unto the other end of the land. No flesh shall have peace. And the spoilers shall come upon every city and no city shall escape. The valley also shall perish and the plain shall be destroyed as the high and mighty God have spoken. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured and All thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Therefore, thus says I am mighty God, I am that I am. An adversary there shall be even round about the land, and he shall bring down thy strength from thee, and thy palaces shall be spoiled. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwelt therein so that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any out of the forest. For they shall burn the weapons with fire, and they shall spoil those that spoil them, and rob those that robbed them, says a high and mighty God. In other words, you reap what you sow. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of men, after rudiments of the world, and not after Messiah Yeshua, who created us. Let's get into prayer declarations. Father Ahia, you are my refuge from the oppressor. Deliver me from the wicked that would oppress me, and from my deadly enemies that would surround me. I bind, rebuke, and cast out all spirits of oppression, sorrow, and anything attempting to bring me low in the name of Yeshua. I am established in righteousness, and I am far from oppression in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Father Ahia, for casting out the spirits of oppression. Bless you always, Ahia, in Yeshua's name. Excuse my puppies. Father Abba Ahia, because I am your sheep, you will deliver me from all places where my oppressors have scattered me. You will feed me in good pasture and shelter me on the high mountains of your grace. Thank you. I will no longer be a prey for the wicked, but will dwell safely, and no one will make me afraid. For you your are you are my redeemer, and you have broken the yoke of the oppression, and delivered me from my oppressors. 
Thank you, Abba Ahaya, in Yeshaya's name. Hallelujah. Praise you, Yah. Furthermore, Abba Ahaya, lead the princes of darkness away spoiled in Yeshaya's name. I bind, rebuke the enemy, and strip him of his armor, and divide his spoils in Yeshaya's name. Ahaya, my father, my mighty God, you have spoiled principalities, which is the government, and powers. I spoil the enemy and take back his goods in the name of Yeshaya. The enemy will not spoil me, but he will be spoiled. Let the fortress of darkness be spoiled in the name of Yeshaya. Thank you, Ahaya, my father, for taking back our goods from the spoilers. Bless you always, Ahaya, in Yeshaya's name. Abba Ahaya, also because I have placed my trust in you and have humbled myself and resisted the wicked intentions of the proud, you have blessed my life and set me free from the bondage of oppression. Thank you. Because of your loving kindness to me, I will seek to bring your consolation and encouragement to others by becoming a servant to them and developing the same attitude as that your son Yeshaya to me. Thank you, Ahaya, my father, for setting me free from the bondage of oppression, from the enemies. Bless you always, Ahaya, in Yeshaya's name. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening.